Phishing scams are on the rise and we want to help you identify them so that you can steer clear of them. So let's take a look at some of the most common phishing scams so that next time you see it, you can avoid it. There are three main types. The first and most common type is social engineering and usually presents itself as an unsolicited call, social media message, email, or anything else addressed to you, and that is trying to extirpate personal information, passwords, and the like. The second type is called spear phishing. This one is like social engineering, but it's a little more targeted. It's usually tailored to your specific interests and routines. A scammer will typically research their target to make the attempt more convincing. They'll use your name and impersonate a company you do business with or even a friend. And again, their goal is to get you to divulge any personal information, account information, passwords, and the like. Never give any of this information away to anyone under any circumstance. The third most common type is called a whaling technique. It's basically like spear phishing, but it's even more elaborate. Usually in a situation like this, someone will impersonate a high powered executive uh, or authority figure in order to get information that they need. Great. Now that we're aware of some of the main phishing types, let's take a look at how to avoid them. The most obvious way to spot phishing attempts are unsolicited emails and messages asking for personal information. Often they'll contain urgent language to put a time pressure on you. Things like your account has been compromised or you've won. Click here to claim your prize. There is no prize. Do not click. Often these bad actors will be impersonating banks or shipping companies or telecom companies in, in order to gain credibility. But if you take a closer look at their email addresses, you will often see that there are small errors. If a fisher is impersonating your friend by email, for example, either their account has been hacked or you might notice that their name in the email address is slightly different. These are clues. Emails that ask for money, passwords, or any other personal information are immediate red flags. To avoid getting fished, look for misspelled words, fake looking or inauthentic branding, or clumsy syntax and grammar mistakes. Be sure to hover your mouse over any suspicious links to see where the link is actually sending you. From everyone here at Endax, stay safe, be vigilant, and make sure to find our other video on best practices to avoid getting fished. Start your free account at endax.io today.